so my main mission is to help, you know, like I'm the energetic mindset mentor, vendor, business strategist, because mindset, they say is 85%. I disagree. It's the crux of everything that we do. If our mind isn't connected with our heart, we can't do anything. We're just, we keep giving ourselves roadblocks. Lisa Drennan was born and raised in Rochester, New York. A loyal wife, mom, and friend, she loves to volunteer and help whenever she is needed. She started her virtual coaching business as a certified ULA life coach and certified aroma freedom practitioner and has helped hundreds of women soar, seeking our authentic route to their highest potential and authentically align with their purpose-driven life so they can serve their soulmate client confidently. Lisa is an avid reader and loves to journal. When she's not writing, she can be found wandering through nature or baking up some of her favorite paleo desserts. She currently lives in Rochester with her husband, son, and fur baby who thinks she's human. Thank you so much, Lisa, for coming on the show. I'm excited to have this conversation with you today in regards to resilience. And so when you hear the word resilience, what comes into your mind? Well, thanks for having me. Resilience means bouncing back. I mean, it's just, you know, having the strength in the core to be able to say, you know what? That happened, but it's okay. It didn't happen to me. It happened for a reason. And I'm going to, I'm going to work through it. I love that. It's so true because especially what we've been living right all over the world right now with the pandemic and, you know, it's definitely got us in a space asking how much can we take? Do you have a story or perhaps a moment in your life that you can share with us where it was an example? Um, so I had a very dysfunctional upbringing and it put me in a place where I was molested as a child. Um, I ended up getting pregnant three times before the age of 18, had two abortions. I was with a narcissist gaslighter and it really shaped me. You know, at that age, you don't have any emotions. And I remember um, him asking me, Lisa, are you going to tell your mom? And I'm like, no, what are you crazy? I am not going to tell my mom. And, you know, I swore I would never tell. And it ended up being that that shaped who I was as an adult. So I turned inward to unhealthy coping mechanisms, ended up over drinking, overeating, overspending. The third time I got pregnant, I was like, I need to get away from you. And that was kind of like the pivot point where I said, I am not going to live this life of being this person who is controlled by this man. And ironically, my mom was doing the same thing to me. So I became a single mom at the age of 18 and went through this cycle of just being controlled and not making any decisions for myself. And I kept... I always asked why drove people crazy. And I kept asking why, what is it that I need to do differently? So I started talking and went to a counselor and I, they just kept doing histories of like, why are you doing this? And I was like the black sheep of the family. I was the youngest girl. I had three older brothers and I was different and they didn't like that. So I was always being picked on called stupid. And I always like, I'm rising above this. I am not stupid. I am smart. I'm going to make a career for myself. So I started going into like, you know, career mode. What is it that I wanted to do? And, and really deciding like who I was as a person and connecting with myself and knowing who my inner child was. So in 2013, I was this angry from, from 16 until 2013. I was this, you know, so like 1984 to 2016, I was this really angry person. If you saw me, I wore all black. I was angry. I would never smile. I, I gave off vibes like, don't talk to me. Don't touch me. Don't do anything. But I excelled in my career and I was just like, okay, I'm going to move to the top. I started off, you know, corporate America started off at the bottom ladder and worked my way up. And I was able to have a successful career and build a family. I met a wonderful man and I was very adamant about thriving in certain areas of my life. So I just kept at it and kept telling myself, I can do this. I can do this. I am not this person. In the inside, I was tore up. I was, I felt like I was a murderer. I was dirt. I was scum. If people knew the real me, they wouldn't want to know me. So I turned to people pleasing. 
if I did anything for you, I volunteered. I, I, I had all these titles. You know, I, I was a mentor. I was a coach. Um, I would, I would disciple people. I would walk through, I would be a treasure. Anything you want me to do, I would do it. And I was very committed. Like I was very loyal. Like if I signed up for a volunteer position, I was on the assignment for like 10 years, but in the inside, I was like, oh my God, if they ever found out my story. So I always had a side gig with a full-time job. My side gig turned into coaching for a profession. Who knew you could do that? And I created this signature program. Um, I, I got certified as an Ulu life coach and an aroma freedom practitioner. And I was encouraged to write my story, to write a book. So I wrote Forgiving the Girl Inside, Finding Balance, Freedom, and Fun in Your Life, which is my story that I swore I would never tell. And it goes into the details of my experiences of this emotional turmoil of living with, you know, a, a, a controlling person, a gaslighter, um, narcissist type tendencies, being controlled by others, not being able to make my own thoughts into this person who used gratitude, journaling, and this modality that the Ula Life teaches with this healing journey mechanism where you just think about why do I believe this about myself? Why do I believe that I'm a murderer? Why do I believe I'm trash? Why do I believe I'm scum? Why do I believe this? And reversing that and realizing that I am designed by God for greatness and a purpose. I'm this beautiful person. I have so much to offer and I am valuable and I'm good and I like to serve, but I don't want to serve because I want you to like me. I want to serve because I want to do it out of love and kindness of my heart. So I turned inward and thought I need to forgive myself for what I did. So I sat down with myself and we went through a process and I forgave myself. And I had a beautiful vision of my babies forgiving myself, um, forgiving me and God forgiving me and telling me I need to share it with the world. And I said, what? No, I'm not doing that. Forget it. Nope. Sorry. We're not going there. So the first time I shared my story was on, it was a workshop in a group that I was of 7,000 women. And I cried the whole entire time. I could not even say the word. And my one friend said, um, you know, you'll do your story needs to be heard. The more you share it, it'll be easier and easier. And it did, it gets easier. I'm now able to share it without crying and it still tears me up, but I know that I am forgiven and I know that I forgive myself and I know that there was pain in my purpose. Um, and I knew I had to, to move forward in that pain and to, to fulfill my purpose, you know? So my main mission is to help, you know, like I'm the energetic mindset mentor, vendor, business strategist because mindset they say is 85%. I disagree. It's the crux of everything that we do. If our mind isn't connected with our heart, we can't do anything. We're just, we keep giving ourselves roadblocks. I agree. My goodness. It's so powerful. I mean, for someone watching right now, that's going through this tough part right now. And what you just shared about going inward, right. And doing that exercise and forgiving yourself. So powerful, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing that. And for you watching right now, I want you to take this in. If you know a loved one, um, that needs to watch this and, and listen to Lisa's story and how she overcame and stayed resilient throughout that journey, send them this video, send them this recording so that they can hear that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But at the end of the day, it's recognizing what's happening, right? Because you can move forward. But the good news is you don't have to do it alone. And Lisa mm -hmm. just mentioned her serving position and what she does to support you. And she mentioned about her book. And I will make sure to have all the information available for you uh, who's watching so that you can pick that book up. But I definitely want you, Lisa, to dive in a little bit more in regards to your program that you alluded to earlier so that we can have a better understanding on how you can serve us should we want to get better at wherever we are right now and we know that we have some fixing to do. That's fixing to do, right? I always say we're not perfect until we leave and go to the other side. My program is called SOAR, Seeking Our Authentic Routes for Our Highest Potential. 
it, it's all about mindset. It's all about inter. It's all about connecting with the inner child and really having that rock solid foundation, knowing your why and reverse engineering it. So I work with Christian female entrepreneurs who are launching or um, scaling to six figures who want to scale to six figures. And we focus on the, for the first thing that we focus on is like, what's your why? Who are you as a person? What are your gifts and talents? So many of us were raised to believe that we can't do what we were cut out to do, what we were born to do. So we're doing something else. And I was guilty of this. I have three adult children and my middle child wanted to be a journalist. And my husband and I were like, no, you can't write. There's no money in writing. So we wouldn't let her go to school to become a journalist. I look back at that now. We have conversations about that now. And I'm like, you can write if you want to. <laughs> you just do it. But it's like we squash, we, our dreams get squashed because somebody tells us that you can't do that because you're not going to be able to support yourself. You're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to do that. That's not the truth. When you're passionate about something, you're going to find a way. And I now my message is, and as my kids, you know, the youngest I told, you need to do what makes you happy. You have a purpose and that purpose is going to give you passion and it's going to let you live the lifestyle that you want to live. What do you want to do? I mean, is it important for you to drive a Lamborghini? If it is, go for it. If it's not, you don't need it. If you want to not have a vehicle, you don't have to. Who says you have to have a car? Who says you have to have a four bedroom house? Who puts these thoughts in your mind? Know what you truly want. Connect with you because you have this inner passion. I've rebranded three times since I started. I started off as like a, a, a pillars of health coach. And then I went into client attraction where I just did optimizing your social media and, and how to launch, right? And I liked it, but it wasn't, it wasn't me. And when I started talking about mindset in my book that I wrote, I started writing my book in August of 20. It was published in February of 21. I just uploaded it to Kindle. And as, as I was proofreading it, almost every single chapter has to do with mindset. I'm like, it's been there the whole entire time. I could talk about mindset for years. Like I can tell you all the little intricacies that I've learned about thoughts and captivating them. If thoughts were a person and came knocking on the door, would you let them in? Do they deserve to be let in? And it has to do with everything that we do, money, relationships, any moves that we make. Even when you eat, when you go to the grocery store, it's crazy how that those thoughts can change our whole entire perspective about something and if we listen to ourselves if we listen to our heart and connect with who we are people will refer to as intuition you know their inner child their inner spirit their inner guide whatever name you want to call it it's your soul it's who you are as a person and it wants to shine it wants to come out and and wants to be seen it wants to be heard it wants to be loved and when you can told when someone says you know what you can do whatever you want to do. Just do it. Wow. Your doors just open. I can do whatever I want. There's no limitations. There's no restrictions. This is what I want to do. So I always tell everyone, they're like, why do you, why do you coach? Like you work full time. I have two more years before I retire. I know my why I planned my retirement. I'm going to be 56 in two years. I planned my retirement when I was 21 years old, when I started my career and I knew that I had something else I wanted to do. I knew, I mean, I was doing all this teaching and mentoring and coaching. I'm a mentor at work. Okay. Who knew you could do it as a side gig, right? Who knew you could do it as a profession? Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> I just found my passion. I love so. it. Yeah. That's so good. Oh my goodness. So good. Because, you know, the, the name of this network is visualize and create. Right. And so I know like I, I, as you're talking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this so much because it's so true. It's about visualizing this. You have a plan like in two years, you're going to retire, right? You visualize and you create it. Right. And you also give yourself permission. Like so many of us were like, oh, I'm not good enough to do that. I, I did this in the past and you don't you know you're blocking yourself again those thoughts the mindset everything you just yeah. mentioned right all those stories we tell ourselves and so you're definitely motivating me motivating who's watching right now to know wherever you are in your journey listen be present keep at it have a plan and know that there's no limitation 
at all. And you, me, Lisa, every single one of us have a purpose. And that is why I'm so excited that you came on the show to share your voice and your story and also offer us your services. And if you want to share maybe a website or where can we directly connect with you, should we want to, Lisa? Yeah, so I offer my book as an ebook for free. So it's lisajordan.com. It's uh, Forgiving the Girl Inside and read it. And there's a lot of great tips in there about mindset, the modality that I use to help unravel. I told, I tell everybody I had a brick wall, six feet around me, six feet high, six feet wide. I wasn't letting anyone in. And the, the things that I implemented that I share in the book is the exact blueprint that I used to help crash down that brick wall and with visualization now it's a beautiful garden so I have a white brick garden around me with like really beautiful colors and there's benches and sunflowers everywhere so that's my happy place I love that I'm definitely going to be downloading this ebook I love mm -hmm. that so good thank you for the gift and thank you for sharing your wisdom and motivating us and reminding us that we can visualize and create the life that we want and so with that we are going to say goodbye to you and thank you for watching us and i hope that you tune in again because i'm pretty sure lisa's gonna come back i'm gonna make sure that she comes back and help us thank more you. with our mindset and getting us ready for life because there's so much to happen for you i know there is good stuff for you happening for you in the future and so embrace life visualize and create